Hey guys, I'm going to back here for that video guy. Today we have an all-time New York Jets squad. And I'll be honest, the all-time Jets are actually pretty good theme team. So starting off right away, on offense here, we do have a pretty good offensive line. This is a fully maxed out offensive line. Obviously, other than me putting all the tokens toward Kevin Wai, that would technically fully max it out. But still, though, we got a... You know what, though? I'm going to low-key say this is the B. Because you have really good left guard, a good right guard, good left tackle, not really a right tackle... No real guard here. I'm sorry, no real center here. Actually, you know that you can you can use Kevin Wally to a 90. The problem is you can't really get both these guys that high overall, right? So it's kind of like a dual-edged sword here. Do you want Kevin Wally to be better or do you want uh, uh, Frank Gore to be better? So that's kind of like a dual-edged thing there. And even Frank Gore maxed out. What's his... um? He gets 89 speed with this theme team maxed out. Ugh. We are currently, by the way, 46 out of 50. Um, we have Tyler Conklin, we have Jeremy Ruckett, and we have Kenny. Uh, CJ is the second best player to put in this situation. So you could put CJ in here, and that would uh, obviously boost that. There is another receiver I can't find on the auction house for some reason. It's either Randall Cobb you have to get in this last slot here, or uh, Desnell Mims. So you got to get one of those receivers, and then that gives you the full receiving core maxed out. Um, other than that, though, obviously, the big guy to talk about is Garrett Wilson. Uh, he has 92 speed, 93 speed when maxed out. And this card, again, as always, has the absolute best card art in the game. The best kicker card art, obviously, Harrison Bucker. The best wide receiver, Garrett Wilson. And then the best right end was, I think, Von Miller. So, the quarterback I went with here was Michael Vick. You can get a better Michael, a better quarterback, obviously, with Geno uh, Smith. I like Michael Vick a little bit better. He's a tad bit faster. Um, he has better throw power and accuracy goes to Geno Smith for the most part. But I still like this card a lot better and, you know, I just like using Michael Vick cards. So, it's kind of maybe a little biased opinion there. But the second backup running back, or the second running back here, is Brees Hall. And he does come in here at 88 speed. 89 speed when he is fully maxed out. Now, you can get this team fully maxed out, like I said before. You just have to get the second receiver here, which would put us 47 out of 50. You have to get uh, Quin Quincy Williams, the limited time card, at the right outside linebacker position, uh, 74 overall gold card. And then you also have to, actually, you have to get uh, CJ Mosley. And that would fully max out this team. Plus, again, second D tackle would also help out a lot. Alright, so for defense here, starting off right away, this secondary is fully maxed out. Um, other than um, Bryce Hall, let me actually go back here. I don't have the maxed out Bryce Hall uh, because he's not in the auction house. He's 81 overall, so he's not like that much better than DJ Reed Jr. here is. But again, for you know purposes, he is this team is not fully maxed out in that category. Uh, if you fully max out Ronnie Lott, though, he gets 94 speed, which is freaking broken. Uh, 90 man, 91 zone, 92 hit power. This card is um, uh, very expensive for a good reason, let's be honest. <laughs> like, when you look at this card, you're like, wow, that card is expensive, but it makes sense why he's expensive, because that card pretty dang good. And, of course, with the Jets team, team you can also rock Ed Reed. So you have back-to-back -back really good safeties. Um, and all honesty, you're probably going to put one of these guys at strong safety, one at free safety, and kind of rock it that way. Because, again, Jamal Adams, while he's great, he doesn't have a good card in the game. So you're probably going to rock one of these guys at the opposite position, if we're being honest. 93 zone, 88 man, uh, 92 speed, 87 play rack. This card looks absolutely amazing. Now, for the linebacking court, like I said before, I do not have C.J. Mosley. I also do not have Quincy Williams. Uh, but the best linebacker outside of Quincy Williams is going to be Frankie here. And to be honest, he's a pretty good card. I'm, you know, he got a card during the headliners promo limited time. So you don't really expect his card to be that like OP because again, it's been a little bit of time since he got a new card. So 
Not surprising there. Uh, looking at the secondary, though, they have some pretty dang good cornerbacks here. We start off with Sauce Gardner, 92 speed, um, 91 man, 91 zone, and 90 press. So absolute gem player there. We do have Antonio Cromartie, who actually did get a card a little while ago, but still a very usable card if you don't run zone coverage. If you run zone coverage, it's probably not the card you're going to go with at 82 zone. You're, you're probably not going to get away with many things 82 sound. Not nowadays with Madden getting a little bit more enhanced with some of these cards. Darrell Rebus, Rebus Island here, 91 speed, 8, 92 man, 90 uh, zone, and 87 press. So a very amazing card. 92 speed if you fully max him out, which is cool. Um, and then finally, we have some backup guys who aren't really the greatest, let's be honest. The middle of the pack here is, of course, Quinnen Williams. He has 77 speed. He has 92 block jet, 92 power move, 84 finesse move. Looking like an absolute freaking monster in that middle. Again, unstoppable promo. Obviously, most of your promo, one of the best promos in the game so far this year. Um, Big Cat right here, 77 speed, 86 playback, 87 block jet, 88 power move, and 77 finesse move. Another really good... A uh, good card here on the defensive line. Now, for this all-time theme team, I do have this defensive line fully maxed out, um, which is, again, like I said, another really cool thing. So I will say, overall-wise, this team is 95% maxed out. The only players I'm really missing here is going to be Quinn and Williams, um, obviously, then some backups. So it's like, mm, for the most part, other than Quincy Williams, everything else is maxed out, just needs some backups. And I will say, if I had to give my final grades of this theme team... Offensive line, as I said before, I'm going to give them B. I think they're pretty solid. You can get a 90 overall center if you really wanted to, uh, but you are going to be sacrificing a good running back. So you kind of have to choose. Do you want the best running back or do you want the best center? But if you get a better center, then you're going to have a pretty dang good you know, squadron here. The right tackle is the only real liability. Other than that, it's a pretty good squad. Uh, tight end group, I'm going to give it a C because other than Tyler Conklin, the best card you're looking at is a 78 of all CJ. Um, and this guy, even Tyler Conklin only has 85 speed fully maxed out. So receiving core, it's going to be a C again. I mean, Garrett Wilson is holding down the fort and he's really the reason why this receiving core is that high of a grade. But other than him, you know, you're not really getting any production out of Alan Lazard. You're not going to get much production out of McCole Hardman. I mean, you might actually get more production than McCole Hardman because what's his speed? He should have good speed. 87 speed. 88 speed max out. So you get more production out of McCole Hardman than you will of Alan Lazard. But other than that, though, it kind of just drops off. Running back core, I'm going to give that a B. Um, but again, if you have to use the tokens for Kevin Hawaii, then it becomes a C because then you kind of lose it. Secondary as a whole, because you can just put Ed Reed at the strong safety position, but at the same time, there isn't much backups outside of that. And then after the first three corners, isn't really much to talk about in the secondary. I'm going to give it overall a B plus because they do have one of the best cards in the game, Ronnie Lott and Ed Reed, but it's just a very mid secondary overall wise. Um, if you do go ahead and get Quincy Williams, this is going to be a solid, I'm going to give it a C. Um, because Quincy is great, Frankie is great, but linebacker in general, even with CJ Mosley in here, isn't really that amazing. The defense aligned is going to go ahead and get a, I would say a C-, minus because yes, Quin Quincy Williams is amazing, but this offensive line, I mean, defensive line is very slow. <laughs> Very slow, and I feel like most mobile quarterbacks are going to just be able to run right through this offense or the defensive line. Guys, tell me down below your thoughts and opinions. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.